Hello all, today we will be discussing about the principal component analysis. Principal component analysis is not a machine learning algorithm, but it is a technique which is used for reducing the dimensionality. Suppose if we take a data set which is having around three columns or three independent features, and if we want to convert that three independent features into two independent features by using a new vector space at that time we can actually use this principal component analysis so not only with three independent features any number of independent features and if you're trying to actually reduce those number of features to the number that you want you can actually use this principal component analysis so this technique usually involves uh, creating a lot of vector space or you can say no number of independent components based on the components uh, on or the number of dimensions that you want we can convert any dimension into that particular dimensions so before moving ahead guys please do subscribe the channel because I don't want you all to miss any content I try to upload as more as videos on Saturdays and Sundays on every weekends uh, and uh, I also upload videos on deep learning uh, so I'll try to upload one video on Saturday on machine learning and on Sunday I try to upload a video on deep learning so please before moving ahead please do subscribe the channel so now let me just move ahead with this principal component analysis uh, so uh, to start with I'm just going to import some of the li libraries that I'm going to use like matplotlib which is used for actually plotting the diagrams numpy for creating arrays pandas to read the data set then uh, sklearn provides data set within itself with, from this library I'm just going to import a particular library a, a particular data set called as load breast cancer so just let me execute this and show to you what this particular data set has what is the details in this data set so I'll just write load breast cancer with a method over here and here is my cancer dot keys when I execute the cancer dot keys I have all these things so I have all the data in this particular data key and my target is basically what is my output so this is a basically a data set which says that what type of breast cancer it has and uh, if I see the target there are two different types of target uh, and we can see the description in the target names okay and there is also feature names this feature names are nothing but uh, the data that we have uh, so all the columns all the column name is having this feature names over here okay now you can also see uh, the description of this particular uh, data set from here so you just have to write print cancer cancer of description uh, I'll be uploading this uh, file in my github link please do see in the description below and you'll be able to see uh, the github link along with all this code okay so in this breast cancer uh, diagnostic database you can see uh, the description over here so it shows basically like uh, there are number of instances of so many records how many different kind of uh, attributes are there this is basically columns right so if I see a 30 numeric over here that means 30 different uh, independent features so you can say this as that it is 30 dimensional okay and we'll try to actually reduce this 30 dimensional into two dimensional and we'll see how well uh, the new dimensions will be created by considering all these features such that it will not lose that much amount of data also okay so you can see all these descriptions from here and um, as I said that there are two types of targets names that one is malignant uh, cancer one is benign so malignant I think it is given a value as 0 and 1 so if you see uh, if you just go down um, there will be something called as target I guess or just let me display the target over here in the below so <clears throat> what I am going to do I am just going to create a data frame uh, where I'll be taking PD dot data frame my first attribute will be my data and the second attribute I'm going to put the column names which will be my feature names over here okay so all the feature names will be appended as my column names and it will be having all the data from this particular data key okay so once I execute this I can see my data frame ahead as five you can see all the features all the columns that have all the independent features over here and from this particular data value we are getting all the values over here so you can see how many features are there they're mostly around 30 features uh, as we saw from the help section so these are the 30 features uh, that we have over here 
uh, now what we try to do is that by using PCA we'll try to reduce this 30 dimension into two dimension which will be creating a new vector space okay so always remember that in the PCA while running a PCA the first thing that you have to do is do the standard scaling okay the main reason is that you can see the values right the difference between these values will be very high and uh, if you are trying to create a new vector space uh, the value should be uh, the difference on between these values should be very very minimal so for this purpose i'm just going to use the standard scalar again standard scalar is present in this sklearn.preprocessing library by using this standard scalar as you know that uh, by using standard deviation is equal to one and mean is equal to zero by that it will try to scale down the, all these values you can also use min max scalar so suppose if you want to use min max scalar i'll just write it down for you so you can just write from sklearn dot preprocessing i'm just going to import min max scalar so min max scalar will convert all your values between 0 to 1 right so you can use this and uh, you can again do the same operation uh, initialize the object and then do a fit operation on the data set that's it and with this you will be able to do the scaling for again uh, i mean to finish the scaling you need to also add and transform operation on the data set so once you do this uh, you will be able to do the scaling okay once i do the scaling you can see that it has been converted it into an array and uh, this is based on the standard deviation as one and mean is equal to zero then after this you can apply now the pc algorithm okay the sorry the pca technique uh, so as i said that pca technique it is basically used for dimensional tree reduction so if i want to reduce the dimensions of 30 dimensions to 2 how can i do it so i'll just write it as from sklearn dot decomposition this is my library i'm trying to import this class called as pca okay in this pca if i execute this pca and you can see that if i press shift tab over here you can see the the first attribute is something called as n components this is the components like the number of components you want to reduce a dimension to so from uh, I mean from from the total 30 dimensions I want to convert this into two dimension only by using a new vector space so my whole 30 dimensions just understand my whole 30 dimensions getting converted into two dimensions isn't it cool yeah so this is a wonderful features where you can actually convert so many dimensions so if you have many dimensions right so at that time it uh, usually uh, provides an underfitting problem uh, because because of those kind of dimensions the model will not be able to predict properly so by this we are just using n components is equal to 2 and i have created my pc object over here okay then i'm going to fit my scale data the scale data is my this data which i have scaled down uh, by using a scale, standard scalar uh, method okay now if i go over here I'm transforming the PCA uh, by using the PCA um, object for the scale data. Now you can see my scale data had a shape of 569 comma 630. Okay, 569 is basically my number of rows, and 30 is the number of columns. So 30 was the number of different kind of features. Now after applying the PCA technique, you can see over here for the variable x underscore PCA dot shape. When I did it, it gave me around so just let me execute this once again so okay just let me execute everything once again because i was just trying to do something so i'm just going to restart and run all so that it starts executing faster just give me a moment it will run off okay now perfect now you can see that oh yeah i'm showing you the scale data dot shape right i have converted the dimensions into n underscore component is equal to 2 okay so that means my 30 dimensional is getting converted into two dimensions now if i see my scale data dot shape it is 569 comma 30 that means i have 569 rows and 30 different dimensions that is 30 independent features and now after applying this transform method i get this x underscore pca value you can see the shape of this x underscore pca dot shape it is 569 comma 2 now see see this this 30 dimensions has got converted into two dimensions so this is a very good way of reducing the dimensions once the dimension is getting reduced you have the target value over there you can apply any algorithm you want like um, 
if you want you can apply logistic reg uh, linear regression or you can also apply some uh, some kind of decision trees or any classification kind of algorithm to determine which particular uh, uh, target name it is of like whether it is a um, whether it is of menine or it is for so if i show you my target names over here uh, just whether it is my malignant or benign okay so based on this target values you can then apply your uh, algorithms uh, for this x, x underscore pca dot shape okay data now let me just go down a little bit <clears throat> you can see that i'm just creating a plot figure over here i'm just plotting my x underscore P pca since i have two independent features i'm going to plot it based on the target value right so based on the target value i'm going to plot this particular figure uh, from these two particular dimensions now you can see even though the from 30 dimensions this uh, we have just created two dimensions the splitting is perfect you can see that so it has not lost that much data so it is possible that uh, you can actually don't worry about the number of dimensions that you have okay by using various uh, this principal component analysis you can actually convert into any number of dimensions you want now i have converted into two dimensions for a purpose because i could draw this diagram and show to you so now this diagram you can see that uh, uh, this is a zero values and this is a one values so this is malignant and this is benign okay this value indicates that uh, uh, this value basically indicates that from 30 dimensions you are trying to take out two dimensions by using a new vector space still that particular difference right uh, the points that are belonging to the malignant the points that are belonging to the benign um, benign target names uh, is correctly split it off so there is no loss such of no such loss of data now you can take this x underscore pca and apply to any machine learning al classification algorithm because i have the data right i have the data over here so any machine learning algorithm you can uh, use it and your y axis that will be your output will be this target values so based on all the x and uh, i mean the two di dimensions will be having the target values whether it is zero and one so by this way you can actually apply principal component analysis right um, now in deep learning you have something called as auto encoder and decoders right so auto encoders and decoders are basically used as a pca for uh, dimensional reduction in case of deep learning whereas in machine learning you basically use as principal component analysis so this was the lecture uh, for today uh, i hope you liked the video please do subscribe the channel and please do share with your friends and feedback is happily expect accepted thank you